what's up guys so i heard you guys want to know how to make a product box and that's what i'll be teaching you how to do today in photoshop and i'll teach you the pro way to do it a quick um thing i want to mention if you are new to this like my channel um this will be optimized for producers because nobody cares about producers but i do so this is why all my videos are going to be targeted towards producers there's not a lot of content to help producers so that's what i'm doing but you can still use this information for your box or whatever so i'm going to show you guys how to do the real way not the crappy you know looking way that don't get you sales or don't you know what i'm saying i'm going to show you the real professional way to make a product box so first thing you want to start is get a picture get a picture that you want to use or you can make your own i'm not gonna sometimes i make my own when i'm really feeling it but most of the time i just find a picture then edit it blah 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 so what you want to do after the picture you have your picture here you want to go to this website boom graphics fuel some of you may know about it but if you don't um here you go and i'm going to try to make this as live as possible because i want you to see everything you know what i'm saying i don't want to skip and edit things out just because you know i don't want to show you the secrets you know what i'm saying no you can you're gonna see everything that i do so if you would have already downloaded it but when you download it this will pop up here you can see everything but whatever i already extracted it just for time's sake so this is what's in there or actually won't show but once you download it this is what is gonna be hopefully you can see that this is what's gonna be in there you just click on this okay that's all you gotta do after the work is done, I got to accept it. The admin rights, blah, blah, blah. Get out of my face. All right. So this will pop up. Now, what this actually is, I'm going to show you what I do. Um, I'm going to do it later. I'm going to put a timestamp. So because I'm not I'm not sure how long it's gonna actually going to take for me to do that, like the um, this perspective thing. But I'm going to show you the way if you just want to put a logo on the front, I'm going to show you how to do that. You can also change the color of the box, but um, I guess I could show you. But. We don't need to do that right now. So these are smart objects, which mean it means this is a whole nother file, basically. And that's why it looks so good. So all you have to do is click on, say you want to put something on the, the box. Go right here, edit contents, and it's going to open a new file. That's what a smart object does. So I could take these words off and I create a new layer, okay? And I'm drag, hopefully this works. It wasn't working earlier. So what I'm gonna do is just go to magic eraser, put the tolerance up and just take the background out. And it took some of my color, of the, right? So I'm gonna just try to create a brand right now and drag this over to the rectangle, put it right there. Just, you know, put it in the right spot. Okay something like that and I kind of want to make it it doesn't look like it's in the middle to me so after you do that you can name it um I think I spelled that right I can't really see that I think I spelled that right if I didn't I'm sure somebody will let me know um you can put that up there I I'm gonna stop putting words on the boxes but if you want to um you can just create another layer Put something across I don't know um, I, don't, I don't know I'm just thinking this on the fly like I said this is completely um, live so I'm not sure what to do and that font doesn't look bad let me just make it black or I tried to make it black make that black I'm gonna just drag this. Okay. So just some, some light, you know what I'm saying? So I think I like that font. I'm not sure, but we can go with it. So you save it, right? All you have to do is save it. Cause this is another file, save it like that. And then the magic happens. Wow, look, see it's there. So now you're done. If you want to get rid of this, and what you could actually no. you go to the spine edit you can delete the the words 
I'm gonna keep them. And it's sideways, so you gotta be aware of that. Gem sample pack. Ooh, okay. All right. And what we can do, hopefully I can find that font again. Got the font. And I know this is kind of all over the place, but this is unedited. I want you to see everything, you know, for what it is instead of editing stuff out, like, which is fine. Some people have personal things they don't want to show, but for me, I want to, I want you to see everything and we can make that one. I don't know what that did, but whatever. And we can make this, we can just put this in the middle and it should lock in place like that. Something like that. And we can save it. And then boom, you have a product box. You feel me? That's easy. And I just, I was explaining. So it'll go way faster when you, you know, when you, um, you're doing it by yourself, whatever. So that's how you do that. So we can just recap real quick. Cause this is the first half. I'm gonna show you how to actually put a whole picture over it. Um, like I'm gonna just put this whole entire picture and I just realized this part was gone. I put this whole entire picture over the box. So let me see, make sure everything's in place. So we can recap real quick. You go to this site, you download this template. Okay. It's called a, this is what it's called. Well, I'll put, I'll put the, you know, the link in the description. You download it. Okay, quickly download it, extract it, look in the file. Let me grab that for you. Open this. I can close that now. And then once this, just click on the smart object you want. One of these two. Open it. This will open. Drag your picture. Put your branding down there. Or you don't need your branding because it's probably going to be on your site. You do that. And then save it. Make sure everything's looking good. And then make sure, you know, the quality is good of the picture too. And then save it and you can go and save it as a PNG and all that good stuff. And then you have your product box. So now I'm going to show you how to do it at a full picture. Cause some people like the, you know, the little graphics that go across. What I'm going to do is take all this off, right? Save it, make it empty. Um, we could just leave that there, but nah. All right, so here's the big secret, all right? The great, wonderful, almighty Demi Lord secret, okay? And I think I remember right, what you wanna do, and what I'm gonna do is create a new layer and call this box wrap, okay? Go to filter, go to vanishing point. Now this is gonna be very confusing. This window will pop up. Hopefully you can, see, I'm gonna try to make it smaller um, so you can see the whole window. This window will pop up. So what you're gonna do, now this is the hard part, but it's worth it in the end. Zoom in and what you wanna do is just click on the edges cause it's gonna, map the picture to this. So just click on the edges. I'm gonna try to do it best I can. And if I'm correct, I think you hold control and you drag this down, something like that. And make sure this is down and this one, I think it has to be blue in order for it to work. I'm not sure. I'm gonna press okay to make sure to see if it works. So here you have the box wrap. So now I'm gonna drag the picture. Actually, no, wait, 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 wait. You have that box wrap already. So what you wanna do, and let me find this tool. Here we go. Just copy this. So you're gonna press Control C. I'll just do it like three times to make sure. Then you go back to here, or you could just create a new one and call it artwork. Um, and then vanish. I just like to be organized. That's why I have different files. Just go back. And then that should, that should look something like this. I might have to change it. We'll see if this works, if it works or not. And you see, this has to be blue. 
because you see it's not it's not going to that side so good thing it did didn't do what we wanted it to so now we can go back and do some trial and error so i'm glad that kind of happened so we got to figure out why this didn't or we could just delete it let's see oh no 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 that is not what i want to do I'm gonna create a new layer again. And it's kind of tricky. And I don't know why it's not deleting. Okay, so it's blue. All right, so you see, once it's blue, you kind of see how it kind of like went together. And it's gonna be super off. Because, um, you know, I'm not doing it very fine tuning. I'm just kind of doing this on the fly so you press ok i'm gonna go to my artwork and it should work now because i remember when i first was trying to do this it was very hard trying to figure this out so now as you can see and if you know anything about design you probably want to do it on the side you know what i'm saying put it on the side press ok Woo! now you see it looks weird so what you want to do is come over here and i think it's multiply yeah so we want to come over here and go to multiply and that's how it's going to give that realistic effect all right and if you want to put you want to put letters you want to put letters on there like some text um just create a new one a new layer because you have to put it on top right and i'm gonna choose a new font gems i actually like this font a lot but it won't show up on this part. I'll probably put something behind it. I'm not sure. Um, let's just try something new. You can see my fonts. You want to see what fonts I use. You want to copy me. That's a little darker. I can I can roll with this. It probably was the same one. It looked pretty much the same. All right, so the same thing. You want to just copy it. I think you can just do something like that. I'm not sure. Copy it. And then since this is, hold up, create a new layer. You don't have to create these layers. I'm doing it to stay organized. So I know which one. So this one, you know, its own layer and this one will be in its own layer. So go to filter, vanishing point, and you can ignore that. And hold, yeah, see? Now that pops up and now you can should be able to drag it. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. I'm not gonna completely do it. And then once again multiply just so it's it is not a big difference. But you know what I'm saying it makes that little, you know, detail matters. So you can delete that. And I know that looks terrible, so I'm gonna take it off, but just showing you how to add letters. You just highlight it and then copy it, okay? And hopefully I'm not lazy and I edit like the the um, shortcuts and stuff in. So that's how you do that. Um, this video is what, 14, 13 minutes. So, you know, those are the two ways. Obviously, once you do this, you want to save it as a template. So next time all you have to do is drag a picture in. Um, and then you can just, you know, you can just produce these at a high rate. You know, if you got a lot of samples and, or loops or whatever you want to do. So again, I hope this helps out. Uh, I'm gonna do more these type of video. You know, video. I'm gonna try to do more videos that like people don't want to do because they feel like um, it's gonna mess up the market or whatever, which I don't think it will. You know, um, if you're gonna try to help somebody out, help them out. You know what I'm saying? Don't sugarcoat it. So I'm gonna just start doing more videos like this. Um, artist tutorials will be coming. I just wanted to get a few of these no producer left behind videos out, which I forgot to mention in the beginning, but whatever. So hopefully this helped you out. Um, if you stay, to, if you're watching to this point, thank you. If you're new and you watch this point, subscribe because you obviously liked the video because you sat here and wasted 15 minutes of your life. So again, yeah, hopefully this helped you out. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know. Share your um, ideas, your you know kits or whatever in the comments below i want to see what you guys are making and i'll see you guys next video peace